Hello, everybody. This is Dream Giver here for the finale of the Excellent Eggs Tournament. Yes, we are finally at the finale of this tournament, and I am looking forward to it. So, what do we have here? We have the Lightning Egg, the North America Egg One, and the Europe Egg going at each other for the crown of the most excellent egg of them all. So, yeah, before we get on with these matches, it's that time again where I hold a vote down in the comment section. Link in the comment section down below. Should be a pinned comment as long as I haven't forgotten. If I if it's not there, then well, I've forgotten. <laughs> and yes, vote for your next mi for the next mini tournament you would like to see. This it's going to be a very interesting vote because I'm sure you won't know what mini tournaments I have planned next. <laughs> so it's going to be interesting to see which one wins the vote. Huh, even I. At the time I'm recording this, I don't even know what mini tournament I'm going to do next. <laughs> but I'm sure I, I got some rattling in me brain. But right, all right, enough about that. Let's get on with the concluding video for this tournament. So, like the Lightning Assault tournament before, it's going to be three matches. And whoever has the most points at the end will win the tournament. And then whoever finishes second, finishes second. And, you know, you and etc, etc. So, we are starting with the Lightning Egg going up against the North America One Egg. And then we will have the Europe Egg going up against the Lightning Egg. And then the North America Egg 1 versus the Europe Egg. Who do you think is going to win this tournament? I'm going to say the Lightning Egg. I think the Lightning Egg is going to win this tournament. The Lightning Egg has been getting really lucky with draws so far. I think it's drawn a gold in every match it's been in so far. I mean, that doesn't necessarily guarantee it will win, but it'll guarantee that it'll do well. <laughs> Just have to see if his luck can hold in the finale. So, without further ado... Let's get started with this match, shall we? Oh, surprise, surprise. Look where the lightning egg's drawn. It's another gold. It's Starachosaurus. Wow. Imagine if all the eggs had as much luck as the lightning egg. It's a guy. And let me guess, the second one will be Anti-Ceratops. Oh, okay, something different. It's Diceratops this time. Finally a different lightning dinosaur. Wait, hang on a minute. Diceratops? Wait, I need I need to double check something. I, I didn't realise Diceratops was in it. Alright, anyway. As for the North America one egg in the blue corner, it's, it's the return of Carifosaurus. I think he's drawn Carifosaurus in every match. Hang on, I need to double check my lightning egg. That is a surprise. I mean, it's not in the pit. It's not on the card. But I think with some of the eggs, not all the dinosaurs you get are pictured on the card. Wow, I'm actually su genuinely surprised. But anyway, as for the North America egg second dinosaur, it's, as you can see there, Edmontonius. That could be key. Because our Edmontonia is going to have a tight advantage over both the Lightning Egg Diamonds. Oh, we got Rod versus Spectre. Let's see who will win this clash. Whoa, what a start! Well, the North America Egg couldn't have asked for a better start. It's an Atomic Bomb. And this is going to do as much damage as an Atomic Bomb. Because he's a crit. Oh, look at that! Stratosaurus losing half his HP already! A dream start there from the North America egg. Oh, he doesn't get a swap! Creefosaurus coming in again. Well, this is two platoon crush, but uh, it, doesn't, it hasn't been triggered. But look at this! Although, I think this Stratosaurus is crisis type, so... If it does land a crit, it could do a lot of damage. But look at this storming start from the North America egg, flying out the blocks. Ooh, but the lightning egg gets a crit. Is this going to do lots of damage? Okay, maybe not. But electric charge coming in here will increase the attack power. Lightning egg coming back into it. Oh, well, it was coming back into it, but the Carithosaurus finishes off Ceratosaurus to give the, the North America Egg a 1-0 lead. Oh, 
Kick, 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 kick. Right, it's all on Diceratops now. The dinosaur I didn't even realise was in this egg. Ooh, well, Kreefosaur is trying that crit again, but the Diceratops not buying it. Although, I will say the Lightning Egg is in big trouble in this match because of that Edmontonia. It changes everything. But, it looks like Kreefosaurus is going to go down. And the Edmontonia is going to get slight. It's going to take a little bit of damage as well. Because the swap out has failed. Yep, there goes Kreefosaurus. And now, it's all on Edmontonia. I still say the North America Egg has the edge because of the type advantage. But, the Edmontonia only has Spike Arrows. Actually, this crit's going to do a lot of damage because this Edmontonia is heroic type. And the Scissor's crit is weaker to the Diceratops' rock crit, so this is going to do an arse ton of damage. Wow, impressive. One hit will do it now for the North America egg. Can the Diceratops hold on? Oh, uh, I don't... Oh, actually, this might... He might survive this. It's, it's his weakest attack. So, yeah. Well, attack burst is going to do nothing now. Yep, yeah, there it is. If I, if I can click the scissors. <laughs> yep, yeah, there it is. It's game over for the Lightning Egg. And it's North America Egg winning the first match of the finale. Well, you know what I mean, folks. The North America Egg, one win away from winning it all. Or, in fact, a draw would be enough for it, because the Europe, even if the Europe Egg wins against the Lightning Egg in the next match... Actually, no, no. <laughs> the North America Egg would still need to win. Ignore me. Well, that was an intriguing match there. Despite drawing a gold again, the Lightning, Dino the Lightning Egg fall in short. And it's the North America Egg getting the win. But it's not over yet, still hope for the Lightning Egg, but he needs results to go his way. And he will have to win this next matchup, taking on the Europe Egg. Right, the O then, in the red corner for the Europe Egg. It is the Santa Rosa. The Europe Egg, probably the, su the surprise package in this tournament. I didn't think it would do this well, because the dinosaurs in it are relative, I don't know. I don't know how, how, how to say it, relatively weaker than the dinosaurs from other eggs, but I'll give the Europe Egg props, it's done well. And well, this you strip the Spondylus in particular has been MVP for Team Europe. Done well in every match it's been in, and I suspect it could do well again in this match. Well, drawing to Santorus is a good draw for this Europe Egg, going up against the Lightning Egg. It'll have a type advantage. What, what is the luck with the Lightning Egg? Yet another gold is Pentaceratops. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if the second dinosaur Stracosaurus. Alright, let's see what the second dino is. Is it Stracosaurus or Ankyceratops? Oh, it's Centrosaurus again. Actually, wasn't this the team in the first match? In its first match of the tournament? And how ironic. The Lightning Egg's first team in this tournament was Centrosaurus and Pentaceratops. And its last team in this tournament is Pentaceratops and Centrosaurus. Cool. Of course, the order is the other way around. <laughs> right, let's see who wins this matchup then. The Lightning Egg needs to win this to keep his tournament hopes alive. If the Europe Egg wins this, it will be a straight shootout in the next matchup between them and North America. It's like the Ryder Cup all over again. <laughs> Start is another tie. Tie suit to Sandra Rosso. Look at the damage it's done to the Pentaceratops. Oh, it's the worst case scenario. It's a hit from the and it's an Earth hit, so it should do more damage. There's the support effect from you, Strip the Spondylus. Team Europe starting off fast. Oh, it's a tie, but the Cyclone's going to allow him to attack, and the swap out's going to fail as well. Oh, oh, never mind. I think Pentaceratops might be dead. Oh, bad sound. Sorry about that. Oh, yep, yeah, Pentaceratops is dead. 
Oh, the lightning egg crashing and burning in this finale. It's just not got going at all. Can the Centrosaurus pull it back? Tight. Although, the tie advantage that the Centrosaurus did have is pretty much gone, so there is that. Oh, oh, here comes Plasma Anchor. Can this, can the lightning egg come back? Oh, bless you, the Archaeopteryx charm. The lightning egg finally gets a hit, but Archaeopteryx charm coming in to heal him up. The Desantrorus, that is. It's another tie. That's another tie. Okay, Desantrorus will attempt to swap out here. Another tie. <laughs> oh. Hey, finally someone gets a hit, and it's the lightning egg. And the swap out will fail as well, so the Eustrek Respondlis will be hit too. Can the lightning egg strike back? Oh, 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 we got a plasma anchor. The Sandrorus biting the dust. But the Centrosaurus is on awfully low health, so it should be relatively straightforward for the Eustrek Respondlis to finish the job. I say relatively because, you know, this is random number generator we're talking about. It's never straightforward where that's concerned. It's another tie. Another plasma anchor would be really convenient. Or a crit! I tell you what, the lightning egg's coming back into this! And, and all of a sudden, the lightning egg one hit away from winning. Wow, Plasma Anchor has literally put the lightning egg back, back in it to win it. Oh, no! Well, it was a good comeback. It was a good fight from the Centrosaurus. But the Eustreptus Pondolus gets the job done in the end. But I tell you what, the Europe Egg must have been nervous there. That Centrosaurus was really impressive. Landing the Plasma Anchors, the tie attacks were wearing down their dinos. But in the end... It was just a step too far, and that will be it for the Lightning Egg. So, Lightning Egg will be finishing third in this tournament because it lost both of its matches. So you know what that means? This next matchup decides it all. Whoever wins this match will be crowned champion. Well, this is going to be a very interesting finale, and you're going to see why in a minute. Right, in the red corner, for North America. Skip this because we've already seen this dude before. We have Edmontonia back in the action and he's being backed up by a Kama. I don't think we've had Kama yet for Team North America. Could, we, could Shockwave support effects make a difference? Well we saw how effective a Kama can be against the Secret Egg. <laughs> However, in the blue corner for the Europe Egg, it's an Iguanodon and I will say that both of Europe Egg's dinosaurs are grass dinosaurs. And no, they're not the same. <laughs> So we have a Guanodon in first. Interesting. This Iguanodon will have the type advantage over Edmontonia, mind, so that could be a key factor in this match. And yet, a Guanodon backed up by Camptosaurus. Camptosaurus could provide some good support effect nature blessing us there. We'll just have to see, won't we? I think this is going to be really tight. Well, I hope it's going to be really tight. I don't want another one-sided finale. <laughs> yes, yes, come on, get on with it. Ooh, what a start from the Edmontonia. Getting a crit off the bat. Ding, ding, bow. Oh, that's a tie. Refreshments. It's another tie. 
Okay, I think Iguanodon can swap out because his health is below half. And he's not going to get the swap. Because Edmontonia's going to get the hit. And it's an atomic bomb. Boosh. Oh, oh, it killed it. Oh, well, I wasn't expecting that, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's because it's heroic type, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I kind of was expecting that then. The Campasaur is getting hit. And it's a dominant start from Team North America. God, Campasaurus, get a hit on the board. Do it for Europe. You're going to die, aren't you? Yeah, you're probably going to lose. <laughs> oh, bless it. Yeah, that Spike Arrows is going to do an arse ton of damage if the Edmontonia gets it off. Oh. Well, um... At least we got a winner. Oh, <laughs> I hate these one-sided finales. So this is so this is, this is so anticlimactic. You, you build up the final, and then that happens. Uh, uh, well, I'm sorry, guys. I was hoping it would be a better finale than that, but that's random number generator for you. Maybe what? Maybe one day. Maybe one day I'll do a mini tournament without random number generator. Maybe one day. But yeah, that is it. So, our winner in a dominant display is the North America One Egg. So, all of its dinosaurs, I think. So, yeah. Um, overall, I think the North America Egg deserves a win. I think the Carifosaurus in particular with the atomic bomb, really effective. The Edmontonia with a heroic type, again, doing the damage. T-Rex, didn't see too much of T-Rex, really. Um, the Kama, again, came in a bit late. Okay, well, we definitely didn't see Dilophosaurus, which is also in the North America one egg. And I don't think we saw Pachyrhinosaurus from that either. But yeah, North definitely the Carifosaurus and Edmontonia in particular, they, they did the damage. They were the two heavy hitters. I mean, the T-Rex could have done more if it was picked more, but, you know, <laughs> it is what it is, and it is randomness. But yeah, that's it. That's it for the egg tournament, ladies and gentlemen. So... Out of all of our eggs, 17 of them have been cracked open and made into omelettes. But one egg still remains, and that's the North America One Egg. The god of eggs, the greatest egg of all time. And yes, I hope you enjoyed this tournament. I actually really enjoyed this tournament. A couple more one-sided matches than I would have liked. But again, that's with the randomness of the egg card. But I think it's been a really fun tournament. Seeing all the weird, wacky combos that... You can make with this with the egg cards and in one of my main tournaments i actually allowed the use of egg cards and nobody used them so hopefully when i do a tournament again in the future there will be slightly more mo motivation to use egg cards but yeah that is it so again hope you enjoyed and this is stranger gamer signing out